Hello everyone, Savage Gibbs here and we're jumping right into it. Today we're playing Overcooked. That's what chef do we want? That guy looks very efficient. <laughs> uh, I've never played this before, but I've been told great things. Oh my god. Well, I was told this was about cooking. Um, okay. Well, that's, that's closer to food. Oh. Well, this is it. I guess... Oh, there's me on the left. I don't know who that guy is. The beast is approaching and we must act. Oh, God. You are all that stands between the Onion Kingdom and total annihilation. Oh, <laughs> Kevin is right. We must work together to feed the, be the beast. I, I did. Why have you got such an amazing moustache? Have you got mouldy or something? Oh, sh sugar! Two spoonfuls of sugar. That's a big, that's a big spaghetti and meatballs. What is this fresh hell? Did I cook that? All right. Okay. Quickly, pull up, uh, pick up an ingredient with your A button. Right. Okay. Um, run to the chopping board. Right, what's the other guy doing? Oh. Uh, the, you are the cut of the lettuce, I like cut of the tomato. <laughs> Magnificent chopping. Chopped lettuce must now be placed on a plate. Right, okay. Um, no, no, yes, right, okay. Oh my god. We're doing it. We did it. Michelin star, oh, bitch. Okay, what does he want? He wants the same again. So I guess the idea is you've got to manage, micromanage the hell out of these two. Get a lettuce there. Now I'm quite a foodie in real life. The switch chefs again. I've eaten Michelin star food. I've eaten five star dining in multiple countries. And I've also had plenty of KFCs. So I like to think I know a thing or two about culinary arts. What's this? So just just good old fashioned lettuce. We got two orders of lettuce. For such a big meatball. How he's got this big I mean it well, we can see how he's got this big, the greedy son of a gun. The guy just won't stop. Alright, let's keep going. I don't know if there's a health bar or if there's... Are we doing good? I mean, he's really overdone it with the knives and forks. I don't think they were necessary. Let's feed him. Yes. Um, oh, Jesus. It's starting to pick up now. I can feel the music's fast. I don't know if we're doing well. I hope we're doing well. No, no, put the t no, yes, yes, come on, we can keep doing this, no, not the peeps, quickly, 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 shove it in, shove it in, shove it in, shove it in, yes, come on, no, the beast cannot be satisfied with our tomato and lettuce based cuisine, why can't we give him the dog, just chuck the dog in, well, I don't think we failed. Oh, greetings, friends. The dog's had enough. He's asleep now. He's took us back in time. The ancient art of cooking, circa 1993 onwards. This is amazing, look, there's a little statue of me on the right, a little statue of Doggo on the left, Carrot Guy up top. What are these cans of food? I have so many questions. Right, forget it. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. A little Stonehenge. This is giving me like Postman Pat vibes, remember? Postman Pat? 
Postman Pat. Postman Pat and his uh, people made of carrots. Alright, so I would love to play this with someone else. I think I'm going to do that, actually. But let's see how far I can get on my own. So you can one... It's like Angry Birds. You one star, you two star, you three star. Uh, the kitchen looks pretty basic, although we've got a little table in the middle. I'm sure that's going to be annoying. That's where you take out the orders at the bottom left there. We've got one pan. We've got a sink, is that? And we've got a bin. It looks like a bin. So this is how to make soup. Okay. Um, no. Right. Yes, boys. Won't go straight in the pot. Of course not. I knew that. I knew it wouldn't be that easy. There's a fire extinguisher there, or is that a kettle? You see that on the right? Right. We got no time to waste. Chop, 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 why is that bar there? Do we we don't have to wait for each bar to fill up, do we? Let's find out. Okay. Maybe you just can't let it fill up. Oh no. Uh so we need one more. Is that it? Soup's up. Yes. Look at that. Steaming piping hot. Delicacy. Oh, I'd like a soup, please. Um, no tomatoes, no lettuce. I just made all of onions. Just, just chop a load of onions up. Boil them in water. Holy shit! This is a delicacy. Everyone wants a piece now. Dirty plates need to be washed in the sink. Surely this is like the job for a, an ex-convict or someone who didn't pay. You ever not? played one of those sort of old style games where you were in a restaurant and if you didn't pay they'd sort of collar you and go well if you can't pay and then there'd be a cut scene of you like washing dishes oh, we should be able to imprison members of the uh, members of the public who don't who don't pay top dollar for this onion soup all right let's keep the plates clean they might be scum but they we can't make them eat off the floor not after the last health code violation. So let's keep him going. There's no point standing about waiting. We got we got people to serve. And they all want the same flipping thing. Needs plate. Uh, Alright. If you want to be picky about it. Oh no. No. Here we go. Oh, we are wasting time here. This is not efficient. Ah! <laughs> Son of a Right, cool. Get back to chopping, son. Oh, Jesus. We, so we got five orders of onion soup. This is basically what we're doing until the end of the round. Unless this is some kind of endless mode hell. Look how they chop. That obviously is more of a... To the untrained eye, that just seems like mindlessly mashing the, the crap out of everything. I have to say, even though this is the first level, I'm, this is this is quite hard already. I'm think, I feel like I'm going to enjoy this game. I like micromanaging stuff. I wonder if we'll get more than two. Two guys. Oh no! Where's the pot? We need the pot. Oh Jesus! Right, get the pot. Without the onions, there's no, there's no, there's no nothing. Right, right, come on. Yes! Genius play there. Put the onions in the pot, then put the pot on the stove. Go, go, go! Son of a... Ah! Ah! Time's up. Shift's over, boys. Make your own damn soup. Hey, we freestarred that, though. And we got... Oh, I love this bit. I wish this bit was the was the game. I would happily just drive around in this. Oh, look at it! Little little bus there. Well, we're we're still freestyling everything, so I'm pretty confident. 
Let's go for the new guy. Why are we in the street? Is this some kind of festival? Oh no. Do you see that? That's going to be awful. Where do we go? Right, okay. Chop. Double chop. Um, do we want to do two, one chef per, one chef per pot, or do we want to double the chefs up? I think we should double up. Uh, sorry, I think we should keep them the same. Baby steps. We don't want to go too far into the dark arts. Oh, did you see that? It was sort of burning. I guess you can overcook your food if you don't pick it off the stove quick enough. That just adds another... Another thing to think about. I've already got all these jokers. No! Stop it. Should be a backhand button. Just whoosh! Get out of my kitchen! Oh, you nearly made me burn my onions! Let me... Chop this ridiculously big tomato. So it looks like tomato soup is pretty much the same. Soup generally just seems to be shove a load of one thing into a bowl and cook it right. This is disgusting. Let's get that cleaned up. Whoa, not on the open flame there, big boy. Oh my god, I'm stressed. Chop 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 get the pot get the pot son What's the fire extinguisher for? I guess I wonder if if you burn the if you burn the tomatoes they set on fire. It's not something I want to test yet. No, it's burning! It's burning! Oh gee. Oh the urge to swear is just Oh god. I'm, I see why Gordon Ramsay is the way he is. This is... This is horrendous. Right, just leave the pot on the floor. Fine, it's fine. Just get, oh, nice. We can dribble. The young Lionel Messi in the kitchen there. Right, so tomato soup coming along well. We've got plenty of more tomatoes to do. So let's just keep hammering them out. I... I would like some some interesting recipes like I guess they're they're easing us in with salad and soup. What's like a Sunday dinner gonna be like? Can we make Yorkshire puddings? If you're American and you don't know what a Yorkshire pudding is, then I mean quite frankly you're a disgrace of a human being, but if a, a Yorkshire pudding is basically a pancake, or at least chemically and Material wise, it's, it's basically a pancake, but it's cooked slightly differently and can be savory or sweet uh, You simply create a little sort of pot shape made out of pancake mix and you have yourself Yorkshire puddings Which is a delicacy where I'm from it Certainly beats literally mashing tomatoes up in water and cooking them But who am I to judge this is clearly some kind of middle class fair. I mean just look at these guys on the street. Especially him. They're probably all vegans, aren't they? Oh So this is level two. Three stars. So we're still pretty good. We're doing a good job. You'd have to be pretty bad to one star. I mean, you'd have to set fire to the kitchen to one star it, wouldn't you? It looks like we're in the sea. Oh, <laughs> we are. We're on a boat. Okay, awesome. I am ready. Avast. Me hearties would like soup. Soup made entirely of onions. Surely, like, they've managed to... Well, I, mean, I, I shouldn't assume it's a pirate ship. I mean, it's got all the trademarks of a pirate ship, hasn't it? 
I would love to be able to fire the cannons. What would I, I suppose if it was, a sh if this is the kitchen area, the cannons are mainly, to, you could fire the meals to the staff, to the uh, shipmates. No, 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 no. Oh, I need to pay attention and stop fantasizing about being a pirate chef. Or if it was like a, a vegan vessel you were driving past, you could like fire loads of dead, dead bird carcasses. I'm looking at you guys on the, uh, on the side of the ship there. Or like how they used to throw cows in catapults during medieval times. They'd just throw rotting flesh over the walls. I think we should do that. Is that going to be in the game? Not a fan of this moving ship either. Is there like going to be water coming over the sides to, to s make our soup all salty? I hope not. Oh, um, chop, chop, quickly. We need to bring him back up. Oh, we got it, we got it. So, what's next? Tomato again? We overdid it a little with the onions. Oh, son of a... No, wait, that's good. That's good. Perfect. Thank you, Poseidon. Seems like the perfect opportunity to make some kind of fish... Fish-based dish, uh, dish. Maybe some scallops, maybe some... Uh, some squid. I've eaten quite a lot of things actually. I've, I've eaten. I've eaten squids. I've eaten zebras. I've eaten alpacas. I've eaten classics like the cow and the chicken all day. But a bit of giant squid. Or a bit of shark. Or a bit of grated puffin. I wouldn't mind the, I'd like the sound of that. That sounds tasty. Fortunately, on the SS Vegan, we've only got onions, tomatoes, and mushrooms. The mushroom is about to make its debut. They do look quite cute, little button mushrooms, aren't they? I like that. This has been quite relaxing so far! Right, get on the mushrooms. No! Oh, we got this. We haven't burnt anything yet. Um, oh, I'm just, my brain's starting to hurt. What do we do? Oh, that looks, they make food look so nice in cartoons. Look at that mushroom. It looks amazing. Then you get a real-life mushroom, and, you, and it's just like, ugh, I'm not a fan. It's like eating polystyrene. I'd rather have uh, pineapple on my pizza than a mushroom. And when that is cooked, we are going to have... Can we get the mushroom soup out? Come on. No. Yes. I think I can do it up the top. Oh, what? Oh, okay. So mushroom soup was not debuted. We're going to have to work on that. Who'd have known that pirates on a pirate ship would have been so fussy? I waited five minutes. Five minutes for that soup. Take it back. <laughs> you just throw it off the side of the... Uh, oh, Cat Chef. you just throw it off the side of the boat, wouldn't you? Or just pour it out the side, just just on the sly, so you don't offend the chef. Because he's very sensitive. So this is, this is overcooked. I love it. It's great. I'm definitely going to play it again. But I think on your own, it's not, it's not what was intended, is it? So we're going to bring someone in. I don't know who it is yet. It's exciting times on uh, the channel. But if you like, subscribe, comment, any suggestions are always welcome. And I will hunt someone down to play Overcooked with me. Until then, this is Savage Gibbs signing out for today, but have a nice day.